Hey guys, I'm Daisho and I'm here playing some Magic, and today I'm playing with Collective Might, aka the new Selesnya deck. Love this deck, it's really fun to use. Um, it's not one of my favorites of the new DLCs, but I, I really do like all of these decks, so I'm very, I'm very happy with the DLC. Um, man, this hand is rough. Got this Dauntless Escort, Lockstone Hierarch. Uh, Fist of the Ironwood's pretty good, but I'm on the play and I only have two lands. Although I do have both colors. Maybe I should keep this. Um, got some pretty decent mid mid range game. Behemoth Sledge. Yeah, I'll keep it. What what's the worst that could happen? Uh, the the good thing about Fist of the Ironwood is sometimes you can just put it on your opponent's creatures, and then you still get the tokens, and all you give them is trample. And if, so if you put it on like a one one, it's not a big deal. Uh, and the and better is when you can actually put it on something that's relevant and makes the trample part um, good. So there we go. We did draw the land here, which is pretty freaking awesome. Now I'm going to be able to get my Dauntless Escort out and then put some Fists on it if I need to or just like put a Behemoth Sledge out. It looks like my opponent's playing Ancient Wilds. I like that. He's going back to the uh, back to the old deck. It's pretty cool. Uh, I gotta give him props for that unless he just doesn't have it. Uh, Alright, this card's pretty awesome. <laughs> I guess I should be showing you cards. I guess I showed you some of them already but anyway, Dauntless Escort. I can sack it for uh, to get my creatures indestructible. Uh, Fist of the Ironwood, I can, I can make a creature have Trample, and whenever I enchant it, a creature, I get plus uh, two 1-1 one, one Sapperlings. Um, Behemoth Sledge gives a creature plus two plus two and Trample, equips for three. Oxidon Hierarch gains four life, and I can regen a bunch of stuff, and it's a 4-4. Four, four. And then Overrun! So, uh, I still need to draw a couple of forests before I can even uh, think about overrunning people. But, I mean, I don't know. I'm a little bit confused as to whether or not I should be running Overrun in this deck, whether or not it's really worth it, but... Alright, so he's got three mana up. He's thought for a little bit. So maybe he does have um, have a pump spell. But if he does, then I can always use my pump spell and then just destroy him. Giant growth. Yeah, so I th think I want to keep my dude alive. Um, so I will just Sigil Blessing. And then I... Oh, no, I can't still Fist of the Ironwood then this turn. So maybe I just want to play Lockdown Hierarch. Yeah, I think I'll actually just do this. Maybe it's not worth it, but... Either way. I mean, I trade... It's sort of like he got the better end of this deal, but in the end of the day, I still have a 3-3 on board, which is where I want to be. Um, I'm not too worried about that much that his deck can do, other than, like, playing Gigantomancer or Natural Order or something crazy good like that. Um, or, like, Natural Order into Gigantomancer. <laughs> I mean, a Palaka Worm would probably slow me down, but if this game goes into the long game, then I can overrun him for the win. Um, I'm sure that I'll be able to get some more token makers and stuff, so... Um, there's an Evolving Wilds, so that's pretty good for me. Uh, so now I'm going to attack, and then I'm going to play a Loxodon Hierarch, second main phase. Okay, he's going to Beast Within me. That's really fine with me. I mean, it saves him three life, so that's probably why he did it, but I still get a 3-3 three, three out of it, and the ability generally isn't that relevant because... Especially in, in this sort of matchup, it really just won't be too useful. Um, but I'm just going to go sack this now so I don't forget. Um, it doesn't really matter. He knows that I would go for Forest no matter what. Uh, but, alright, so now hopefully I can draw a land. That way I can play and equip my Behemoth Sledge. Um, although maybe it's more worth it to just play a Fist of Ironwood. Not quite sure, but the fact that I have this iron, this Fist of Ironwood and this, uh, this Behemoth Sledge means that I can pretty much give two different things trample. And right, so he's going to beast within that thing now. Again, that doesn't really bother me. He already gained four life. He basically just turned my Loxodon Hierarch into a, into a Thrag Tusk. Um, plus, he had to use a card to kill it. So um, I'm not really too upset about that. <laughs> but, I mean, it makes one of my dudes a 3-3 three, three instead of a 4-4. Four, four. So I'm going to have this Civic Wayfinders. That's pro yeah, that's what I'll be doing this turn. I will attack with my beasts for six damage. That's pretty awesome. And then play Civic Wayfinder and go get a forest and then equip him up with Fists of the Ironwood. Um, or maybe, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. And that way I can overrun next turn for the win. Alright. We don't even need to uh, beast, beast Within. I mean, uh, Behemoth Sledge, sorry. And now I have five creatures, so that means that overrun is 15 plus whatever powers on the board, so that's like another 6, 8, 10. So that's 25 damage that I'm going to be swinging in for next turn. And there's really not much you can do about it other than, like, another beast within or something like that, but I don't know, he's probably gonna, I guess like a Thracto, no, Thractos would do nothing. Drago Warcaller is just terrible in this scenario. <laughs> Alright, play yourself a 3-3. Three, three. 
and uh, and let's see how that's gonna work out for you. <laughs> no offense or anything, bro, but you're just dead. And there's another land, but all I have to do is overrun him and then swing in with all my creatures. So that was a pretty uh, pretty good game. It just well showcased how this deck can run. I played efficient uh, efficient creatures that he had to deal with, and then um, he still was just too far behind. So my creatures were basically just too good for him. It was really fortunate that I drew my lands, and then I got that Civic Wayfinder to get me that last forest. But yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed that video, and have a wonderful day. Bye.